In today's free coaching video, I'm going to teach you how to lose weight without dieting. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Stay tuned. Life sounds like I'm alive. Hello Livelies, how are you doing today? So as someone who dieted entirely too much, it's actually embarrassing how much I really dieted, I can tell you right now that dieting does not work. Good food, bad food, calories in, calories out, any sort of calorie counting app that you might be using right now, it does not work for the long term. Which is why in today's video I wanted to give you some tools on how to lose weight without dieting by intuitively eating. This is so you can have a healthier relationship with food, a healthier relationship with your body, so weight loss can be sustainable for life. So tip number one is to treat your body like a guest. So if a girlfriend is coming over and you guys had lunch plans, how would you treat her? You would ask her, so what do you feel like eating? Do you want Mexican? Do you want Italian? We have this great soup and salad restaurant down the street. Do you want to go there? Right, you would ask her, you would ask her, what feels good to you? What sounds good to you? You need to treat your body the exact same way because you know what? Your body will tell you. Now the key here is you can't have any sort of restrictions. You can't say, you can't have Mexican because it's too fattening. And you can't have Italian because there's too much cheese. You can't put restrictions on it. You have to open the floodgates and say, okay body, you can have anything you want, which I know is easier said than done, but with practice you can do it. And then you just ask her what she wants and tune into how your body feels. You will know. If you say Mexican in your body, you're like, eh, no way. Soup and salad, hmm, maybe. You know, like you'll feel, you'll feel it inside of your body. And when you treat your body as a guest and don't put restrictions on your guests, then you can really start listening and tuning into those small little signs that your body gives you. Tip number two is I want you to start using the hunger scale. So let me quickly show you what the hunger scale is. So zero to one is you're completely famished. You could eat a hole through the wall, you're starving, you could care less if it's healthy, just put food in my mouth. Two on the hunger scale is you're hungry, you're not starving, you're hungry and you'd like to eat. Number three, you're starting to feel satisfied. So tuning in to hunger and fullness and you can feel yourself filling up. Four, you're not hungry, you're not full, you're really getting close to stopping. So again, tuning into hunger and fullness, you can feel your belly filling up and you're almost done. Number five is you're totally stuffed, you're full, you're probably gassy, you have pushed your body to its max and ate too much. Okay, so how to use this hunger scale. So when you sit down to eat, I'd like you to be at around a two. So you're not starving, you're not famished, you're kind of satisfied from your last snack that you had maybe a few hours ago, and you could eat. We don't want you to be in zero or one because again, like I said, when you're at zero or one, you will eat a hole through the wall, you do not care, and you will not stop. And then as you're eating, tuning into your body, feeling her fill up, I want you to stop around a three and a half, four, kind of tune into that, but not to where you're overly stuffed, but you're feeling satisfied. No matter how much food is left on the plate, you can take it to go. If it's so good, then might as well have a little bit tonight, the later that night or tomorrow, right? And tip number three is to be a food lover. So food lover is a concept that I put together and I've actually written a book on it. And it's all about tuning into the moment and really getting into your body. It's gonna really enhance the two other points that I made in this video. So I'm not gonna go into the details right now. Lover is an acronym. If you've been following me for a while, you are very familiar, but it is a concept that constantly needs attention. You always need to go back there and revisit it because it's so easy to just stuff food in our face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link right below this video and you can get access to this book totally free. It's a really short read. It will take you 15, 20 minutes, minutes max. But I'm telling you, the concept in this book has completely revolutionized women's relationship with food. There are countless testimonials on Amazon from women who have read this book and it has totally helped them. And before you go, I want to hear from you. Which one of the three concepts are you going to commit to taking action now on and why? 
Because you know what? Watching this video versus taking action separates the people who succeed in weight loss and those who don't. So when you comment below, it creates some sort of accountability for you to actually take action. All right, I gotta go. You have a wonderful day. And remember, if you're not having fun, it's your own damn fault. <laughs> Bye. All right, if you are loving my video blogs and would like to take it a little bit deeper, I wanna invite you to check out my Wildly Alive Weight Loss Program. The doors are opening really soon, and if you get on the list early enough, you can save $150 and potentially get free coaching from me. So visit wildlyaliveweightlossprogram.com and get on the list today. In today's free coaching video, I'm going to teach you 15 ways on how to channel your inner wildly alive woman. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, we're going to start down on the ground here on all fours. And we're going to do opposite hand and leg extension. And we're going to alternate. 